with Eric Watts, right? I interviewed Eric Watts recently. One of the videos that um, had a lot of comments was how people on the road used to save money or basically bilk the company out of money. And one of them was um, the whole airline ticket thing where, you know, WCW would buy your tickets and then you, if you didn't need them, you'd keep them and then trade them in for cash or trade them in for a ticket you wanted at a later date. But there are also other things as well, like let's say you're sharing a room and then somehow you'd finagle your way to getting more receipts for the room than you needed and then everyone would get to sub- you know submit you know tax receipts on on the sort of same room that kind of thing uh, you know, for the full amount things like that i mean how, what were the, some of the money saving uh, methods that you used on the road in that vein well here's here's a name that a lot of people don't know but it shouldn't shock anybody would be Paul Heyman. Mm -hmm. Paul Heyman would get tickets, airplane tickets, and he would, he would keep uh, using that ticket and changing, changing it lower and lower and lower. And he'd be getting the refund off the ticket. They bought him a $500 ticket. He finds a flight for 250. Well, he goes back, he cashes it for 250. Now there's 250 excess. Where do we send this? Oh, send it to me. It's not send it to back to WCW. Send it to me. And I used to catch Paul at the ticket counter a lot of times. <laughs> I said, what are you doing, Paul? <laughs> Finagling more ticket money or something. And, you know, I knew what he was doing. He did too. So it became a joke between us, really. But, but that's not his fault. I don't blame him. I blame the company. If they're not doing more oversight on it than that, then they don't necessarily need to lose the money, but because they weren't paying attention to it. So it was gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. But, and I I don't know anything about hotel rooms, but probably rental cars, rental cars, if they're going to pay for it, of course you're going to get the most expensive car they got. I've seen guys have limos. Of course, they were driving their own limo, <laughs> <laughs> and and they and they pile a bunch of guys in there and they go down the road. But where you can really uh, soak a company like WCW is uh, for for food, food vouchers, not vouchers, but you just change the number on it. And how are they going to go back and check? I mean, you paid for it. and But if they go back and check your credit report on that same day, instead of $75, it might read $35 or $25. So there was a, there was a lot of finagling back in the day, a lot. 